This is Robert Boyd on the University of Tampa campus inside a physics class. And you too can join in without even having to go to school. The new program is called Burst Chasers. Gamma ray bursts, one of the brightest and most powerful explosions in the universe are captured on space telescopes every day. Yet UT assistant professor of physics, Amy Lynn, says despite how common they are, there is still so much left to discover. We finally go through these bursts and then more are coming in and it's like, okay, well now what so do we do? So you need yes. some help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah, went exactly. ahead and asked the public? Yeah, 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 exactly. That's, yeah, that's the idea and it was amazing. So Amy and her students started an online citizen science project. The best part is you don't have to have any astronomy background, right? You don't yeah, have to have yeah, a college exactly. degree yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, mm. you're going to teach them what they need to look for, yes. what they need yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything should be on our website. Hopefully it's kind of easy to use. They say the response was overwhelming. More than 1,000 people signed up in the first 10 days. It was really mind-blowing because it was like two hours out and there was 20,000 classifications on it. At I, I just didn't know there were so many people who would be like invested in classifying these bursts and to see how interesting it is. For student Sebastian Reich, it was a great way to finally explain to his non-physics friends what exactly it is he does in class. They think of it as like only nerd talk, so it's nice for them to see that as like an easy gateway in a sense to see exactly what I do. Once UT reaches a certain number of gamma ray classifications, they plan to release a catalog of findings, and they hope to include the names of all those burst chasers who helped them along the way. I do feel like this astronomy and science really should belong to the general public. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, really everybody who are interested in, if we can share, you know, our joy with all of you, I think this is a good way. We all live in the same universe, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.